This used to be a guy's snowboarding car. He'd take it up to the mountain. Uh, it's four-wheel drive. He has winter tires on there, so I can get around, you know, most places. Ground clearance is good. Well, his point is the rear differential back there. Um, makes me wish I almost had a two-wheel drive model, because that's low. Um, but you can see the rest of the ground clearance is pretty dang high, and that's nice. It looks like a, a, a perching insect of some kind. This was, um, full of holes. The muffler was nasty when I got it. 130 bucks later, I got, um, replacement muffler, and the guy noticed that the muffler was melting, so he put a long enough t pipe on it. Very considerate guy. The green caps I found, I like them because they're hard to lose in the ground. It's nice. Um, it turns out they put those on when they put nitrogen in the tires. So at one point, these tires had nitrogen in them. But that's old enough that it's all probably leaked out by now and replaced by air. Subaru decided to put the spare tire under the hood. So it gets warm. Yes. That doesn't seem so smart. The rubber wouldn't last as long, right? I, you'd think not, but I have one in the trunk that I bought from um, a used parts place that, uh, <clears throat> you know, it doesn't. the sidewalls don't crack when I air it up. Hmm. And so I'm going to replace this with that because it's in better condition and just leave it in there. Um, it's got air conditioning, power steering, um, all kinds of fun stuff that most cars have. Um, replacement fasteners that are way too big and the wrong size. Um, I replaced the uh, oxygen sensor. So I come on over here and look down to that little port there. Imagine that new looking bronze thing with the wire coming out of it. Imagine it if it looked just like what it's attached to. Covered in rust and scale and nast. It helped it run better a little bit when I replaced that. Apart from that, I have not put any um, money into repairs in this car because everything's fine on it. Huh. Oh well, whatever. Is that that's a toggle bolt? What kind of oh my gosh, I gotta replace that. That's just horrible. <laughs> I got the multi-purpose. Remove the water from the windshield and punch someone many times in the face. After, after the gun show, we saw a little, like, the ice scraper weapon. I realized, wait a minute, I have one of those in my car right now. <laughs> so anyway, push button, four wheel drive, that's nice. And, um, occasionally, yeah, when there are a lot of leaves in the ground, um, with a front wheel drive car, when I park uphill on my hill, I'll just, you know, the front tiles will just run, and the car will slowly, like, drift to the right, the front of the car drifts to the right until like one of the tires hits pavement. And then it kind of <laughs> kind of starts going. Wow. With the four wheel drive, no slippage at all. It's very nice. Ah. Um, here we have my anti-theft feature. I am not fixing this because my, my um, neighborhood is prone to car prowls. And the worse your car looks, the less likely that anyone oh. is to actually try and break into it. It's not really that visible from the outside. It's actually more visible from the inside. And it doesn't interfere with driving much. Like so, in a hurry if you want, but they don't go all the way down. The whole bed goes totally flat, and that's nice. My Volkswagen actually did the same thing. Um, actually, it would fold down, and then the whole thing would roll forward once more. But I had to have both seats, like not just tilted forward, but actually all the way forward, almost. Uh, what about this one? Oh wow, side. I just... Oh, it's the rear, the rear wiper washer. It's right back there. Okay, now I know that is. It's just compartments for stuff. Oh, you can store stuff. Yeah. That's kind of cool. <coughs> yeah, it's just a storage compartment. And there's also one... Underneath. Yeah. Yeah. That's where our spare tire is. Most folks' spare tires are underneath there, but... It's cool. It came with this. I got a, a free star wrench. Oh, it smells like mildew in there. It smells like so much mildew. But imagine the entire car looking like that. Wouldn't that be nice? The plant. That's been on the car for about a week. I drive like 15 miles each way to work on the freeway and it just sticks around. The Only rain waters it. Wow. Hmm? Only a week? Every day. No, I mean, I'm saying that looks like it's been there longer than Oh, that. no, it just, 
Yeah, about a week. It hasn't grown from like from a, from spore on the bumper. It just kind of flopped there. <laughs>